All right, guys. Guys, there's new merch out, badfriends.com. Bad Friends merch. You guys, there's new merch out, badfriends.com merch. Yeah, badfriendsmerch.com. <laughs> <laughs> badfriendsmerch.com. Check it out, our there's new shit. new merch we got out. It's very cool. Real good it's stuff. real sexy. Go to badfriendsmerch.com. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? White dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. I don't want to talk about it, okay. but I want to say that, you know, your fear is um, obvious, and I... What is my fear? I don't know. What's my fear? You they, don't have it. What's my fear? That you go up there with no material, and then you just show your penis, and then <laughs> that's the show? That's not my fear. You think that's what I'm going to do up that's there? That's a reality. You think that's what I'm going to do up there? Show my penis and say Bet goodnight? Bet me $1,000 you won't show a part of your body on stage. If you told me not to... Bet me $1,000, you won't show a part of your I'll, body. I'll bet you $1,000, and I'm going to say this too, okay? And you have to do all, only material for a half an hour straight. No, I'm not. I'm doing a guest spot. I'm not doing a fucking feature spot. You're doing a half an hour, bub. I'm not going to be there Saturday then. Uh, you dictate... I dictate the rules. I dictate the rules. I'm a baby. You are I'm a big, the baby. You are I dictate baby. the rules. Yep. I say what I want to do. Yeah. Yeah? Hi, Jules. Hi. I'm so happy that you're here. I thought you weren't going to... All right. <laughs> yeah, she's in a. She's. Why are you in a bad mood? Because she's a beach girl. Yeah, <laughs> she goes to the beach in the mornings, and then she comes home all gr- grumpy and like, I went to the beach. Leave me alone. I'm beach girl. What's your deal? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just no, tired. she's. <sighs> Dude, your whole your whole fucking life is tiring. What do you do? You don't do anything. How can you be tired? We just went diving. That's it. I was tired from it. Glad you're here. No. I was just about to say, just, so you, nice I to have see to, you. I have to live with this I shit. I know, it's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> it's Come, a, it's, move in with me. I know. It's like, me and you should just live, get get, an, get a house together. Bro, we would, bro, if you and I lived together. <laughs> How fun would that be? It'd be fun for the first 48 hours. We'd be dead after that. 100%. Yeah. But who cares? So for 48 hours, mm-hmm. it'd be fun. The first 24, civil. Mm-hmm. The last 24, Insane. Bro. That would be our Kill. 48 hours, the film. I would stick dynamites in your butthole. Yes. Mm-hmm. Am I Nick Nolte in this scenario? Oh, in what movie? In 48 Hours. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't it Nick Nolte? Nick Nolte. It is no Nick Nolte. Who else is in 48 40- Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I Nick so Nolte? I'm, I'm Eddie Murphy? You gotta be. Thank you. Do your best Eddie impression right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that was my Eddie Murphy laugh. How is that? What, do it again. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know. What? Give me <laughs> Eddie Murphy's laugh. I want to see if I can do it. <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. That mine was fucked. Do your Eddie Murphy laugh. <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> pretty good, actually. Pretty I'm not good. gonna lie. It's either something like Eddie Murphy or she was being choked by a, 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 a or by a pygmy. By the way, you've never seen this movie, have you? Forty eight no. hours? No, there's no way. It's a great fucking great movie. movie. Yeah. Look at how young Eddie looks right there. And and Nick Nolte is the same age and he looks a hundred. Yeah. They, they're really, they're not that far in age. I don't think when he did that movie, he, he was when, pretty When young. he talks, I hear a thousand people. Who? Nick Nolte. Nick Nolte? There's like a thousand voices coming out of one voice. <laughs> it's so great. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's one of those voices where you record and you play it backwards as other messages. And you hear ghosts in the background? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that thing? <laughs> and then they do it, yeah. <laughs> that was a good movie. Hey, what did you do for Turkey Day? Hey, man, what's up? Good to see you. What did you do for Thanksgiving? I love it. Did you get my invite? I invited you guys to come to my Thanksgiving. In Chicago? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. You didn't want to come? Was I there? No. Nope. There you go. All right. But I I looked at your cute family on the Zoom. Oh, I know. We called you on the Zoom. We were wasted. Your mom is attractive. Yeah. <laughs> and um, Yeah, she's a babe. She really is. I know. And Look at me. For a split second, I'll be honest with you. And don't get angry. I'm about to. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it. But I, I just want to be honest with you because you're my friend. I want you to be honest with yeah. me. Yeah. For a split second, I would give her penetration eyes. Oh, you tried? No, just penetration eyes. Do you, it. One of those. Do it to the camera so they can see. Oh, <laughs> oh, wow, dude. And she was like, I saw goosebumps on her face. Well, she ca- choked on water. Yeah, right yeah. Then. Cho- For some reason, and she was like, goosebumps ah! on her face, and then she, I think, did a mini climax. What? Really? Yeah. I was right there. Through the zoom, I know. Wow. Yeah. You did it. But she's pretty hot. She's a babe. I got a babe for a mom. Yeah. It was nice to, it was nice to go home. Sister's cute. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> why? We're an attractive family. And, and why can't as a, an American and you're an attra- citizen? You're not an American well, citizen. I am. Let me Show me your papers. I have a card. Show me your papers. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I have a file cabinet system. I'll find it. But my point is, is that yeah. 
I just want to say mm. that your family. Thanks. When I saw them, don't ever zoom again because I nutted Wait, so fast. First of all, we didn't zoom. We what was FaceTimed. That? Oh, it was a FaceTime. Dad. All right, sorry. You got no, me you on the cute, Zoom. Real cute family. It was not, and it was so nice that you entered. Everyone was excited to see you. Yeah. We were having... Actually, no. You said something. You go, Mom, I... say something to Bob. I said, say hi to Bob. And I go, ha, and then you hung up. I did. At the end. That's a funny trick. It was a good bit. It's a good bit. It works because yeah. you thought I might have called back. Because when you do that bit, right, you mm -hmm. hang up and I do that moment where I go, ooh. Yeah, you sit in oh sadness. Oh, my dummy. You know who I didn't call? <laughs> yeah, you don't have her number. Yeah, I do. Oh, you do? Yeah, but we don't. But I text her and the texts are very bland, the bland there. Are you okay? Are you guys coming tonight? I also proposed to her. I go, is Magic Mountain open? And she's like, I don't know. And I go, because she's afraid of rides. I think we should do a Bad Friends Magic Mountain trip as I well. I would love to, but isn't it closed during this winter? Or no? Is it closed? She, Look it up. Is Magic Mountain still open? I'm. I'm. You don't want to do it? I just hate it. But we'll go as a family. Will that feel better? Can I just do one ride? No. no. You can't go all the way there for, and buy a ticket for one you can't ride. Can't go all the way there. Twenty minutes and <laughs> it's only twenty minutes away. <laughs> Twelve minutes up the freeway. It's open three hundred sixty-five days a year, according to L.A. Times. Wow. Wow. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, we'll take a little family trip. It'll be like an end of the year celebration. But the big, but the thing we have to do is we have to eat as much as we can before we go to see who throws up on the ride first. Yeah. That's so fun. Yeah. Will you do that? I'll vomit. That's the point. I almost went to the hospital because there's a, um, next to the Magic Mountain, there's a water slide place. Oh, yeah. That's Raging Water. Raging Water is attached to it. Uh -huh. And there's a river, right? A, f uh, a lazy river. There's a lazy river that surrounds the whole fucking thing, mm -hmm. right? And it's a bunch of kids yeah. just shitting themselves. Mm-hmm. And I remember being on a little floaty, right? And just so thirsty, just drinking the water. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, and the next thing I know, it's like I was in a back of a fucking, my buddy's um, minivan. And I'm going through shake. I'm shitting myself. It was fucking, I almost died. You had dysentery is probably. Is that your, what it your was? insides were eating and shit. Yeah, yeah, you had probably. But we got to do that when we go there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my point is. Because there's a danger there because we could die. Yeah, an element of danger is what yeah, we yeah. need. And also, I think on one of the rides, you don't pull the thing all the way down, so you might slip out. That makes it fun. <laughs> that makes it fun. Everyone should do that at least once. Don't, don't, you know what? Because you know when it goes over the heads, click, 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 yeah, click, yeah. click, click, click. Don't click, do the last click. click. Don't do the last yeah, click. Yeah, yeah. Because the last click holds you in, mm -hmm. right? You got to leave some space. Yeah, just a little bit, just in case. So you do one of these. <laughs> It's right. fun to slide almost out. And when you're backwards, dude, it's oh. like you don't want the fucking thing to be holding you in. Nope. You want your own strength to be holding you in. <laughs> yeah, to see if you can really use your own go muscles, through. right? And if you slip, you happen to die. You happen to die. <laughs> and you make the paper. Don't you want to do that? be in the paper? No. Because you're not athletic. You're not going to be able to get like a gold medal on something and be in the paper. If Man. I die, I'll just haunt you both. Okay, she, she said that too. In the, you said that in the car as well. You said you would haunt us when when you die. Yeah, and I go, and I go. She go. I go. What are you gonna do? She goes. I'm gonna kill you. And I go. I go. Name me one person in your personal life. Right. I asked her two two questions. Mm -hmm. Name me one person in your personal life that you know that was killed by a ghost. I can't. Then I. The second question is. Name me anybody <laughs> from the history of this planet that that's was ever killed. been killed by a ghost. I'll and be she, the first. Oh, she wants to be uh, the first. Oh, she wants to be the first. How can you kill us from, from the beyond? Do you have a strategy? Have you thought about this? You have a weak spirit. <laughs> Do you know that? Think of how much rest your spirit's going to need to kill us. You're going to be sleeping in the afterlife. Yeah. Hammersmith ghost murder case. Oh, shit, it is real. <laughs> oh, shit, I didn't know it was real. Wait, go back to the other page. How funny is this? The other headline right below. My husband died, and now his ghost wants anal. That I, <laughs> that, that I believe. I agree. That I believe. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> If you show stuff in our butts, then I think that'd be funny. Don't kill us, but if you if we wake up with hot dog in our butt, because I, I believe when you're in heaven, Christian rules still apply. You got to be good up there, don't you think? Christ I bet if Christians' rules apply here on earth, mm -hmm. in heaven it does. Of course. So we can't just free nilly. You know what I mean? Be flying around with my, as an angel with my dick hanging out. I mean, you of all angels could get away with that. It, you would get a laugh. It would get a just lot of laughs. Just me flying by people's clouds. I mean, think about the guy playing the harp, just like. <laughs> <laughs> right, you fly by with your penis out. I know, but then the next you know, I'm r on the side now to him. Uh -huh. I'm doing a little like gyration. Oh, and your penis is playing. The they heart. don't like it. Yeah, yeah, they don't like. <laughs> it. They'll bail. Yeah, they don't like. But it. I mean, look, go to the Hammersmith case. I want to see that. That looked real. Was that? It's so not real. No, look, it's a ghost murder real? case. <laughs> oh, this one. 1804. 
Oh, shit. Set a legal precedent in the UK regarding self-defense. If someone that could be held liable for their actions, even if they were the consequence of mistaken belief. Uh, okay, ghost. From November, a number of people in the Hammersmith area claimed to have seen and attacked by a ghost. Local people said the ghost of a man who committed suicide the previous year and had been buried at the Hammersmith churchyard. <gasps> it's nothing. This is real. It's real. On December 29th, William Girdler, Girdler, a night watchman, saw the ghost while near Beaver Lane, of all places, and gave it a chase. <laughs> <laughs> he was chasing Beaver in the middle of the I night. I love Beaver Lane. Everyone's chasing Beaver in the middle of You've the night. You've been to Beaver Lane, right? <laughs> a bunch of times. Dude, me and my friends in high school, we used to go to, and it was in England. Yeah, Beaver Lane in, in England. In England, yeah. we would travel would to go. England to Beaver Lane, right? And it has to be at a certain hour of the night. I would bring my like utensils. <laughs> your fork, it, fork, and fork and knife. knife you know what yeah. I mean? And when I'm eating beaver, when I'm eating beaver, I do have to have a fork and a knife. Do you have Not a napkin? I, I, I put a napkin. Yeah, you do. I, put a, I do all the utensils in the right area. You know what I mean? The right. You know how there's two knives, one's for salad. Two forks, you mean? Two forks, I mean. A salad fork, a regular. I do fork. the whole thing. Do you have a soup spoon too? Yeah, of course oh, I do. Of course, you have all the cooties. There's liquid. I understand. In the beaver. <laughs> well, how do you like your beaver cooked? What? How do you like raw? Your beaver? Yeah, raw. Yeah, beaver. yeah, yeah. No cook. I'm medium well. Oh, you like the edges a little dark? Crispy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A little crispy. Yeah. Well, look at he gave well, a I mean, chase. The, well, the crispiness could be the discharge. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Because when discharge dries, I don't know how they cook beaver. The, I, know, I, don't, I don't know how I'll they cook the beaver. I tell you how they cook You've beaver. You've been cooking beaver? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get a butt beaver, right? Yeah. That's a little discharge Yeah. Right? <laughs> It. We did such a good metaphor for a second that I we know. went right into it. I know. You fry a beaver, though. What do you do? Do you do pan fry it or, or <laughs> deep fry it? you, man. Oh, okay. Right? You don't want to put too much grease. Too much oil is bad. No, because the, the vag, the, wh- the beef, the beef. The, sorry, the beef, the beef, right, has moisture in it already. Of course it does. So you use its natural moisture mm. as the fucking sizzling, oh. as the frying element. Oh. It's, there's fat in there. Imagine you're cooking up some beaver and you get a pop right in your eye. <laughs> A little That'd be pop. Terrible. Yeah. That's a sizzling queef. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call them. Sizzling queefs. The sizzy queefs. Yeah, because the air bubble mm-hmm. in the fish, mm-hmm. right? That's when it's fried. When it's fried. It's <laughs> fries it right in your face. Like, oh, oh yeah, you got yeah, yourself terrible. a sizzling queef there, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, he, this guy, he chased, he chased it. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> London didn't have an organized police at the time. Are you going back to this? So Gildler. <laughs> I want to find out the death. Who gives a shit about this? Because Thomas Millwood died. All right. At the go cor- back. You're going to love the second part. At the corner of Beaver Lane, <laughs> at the corner of Beaver Lane, yeah. while making rounds around 1030, and January 3rd, 1804, Gildler met one of the armed citizens patrolling the area. <laughs> they had a shotgun. And guess what? What? After hearing this, him and the neighbor, John Locke, on the corner, he was agitated. He ended up being dead. He found himself foaming at the mouth, filled with beaver juice <laughs> on Beaver Lane. It says beaver juice on there? Beaver juice? Read that. Go down. He can't read it. That's why I have yeah, to make yeah, up yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Look, he died. Okay. This guy died at the hands of a gunshot from a ghost <laughs> on Beaver Lane. So a gun. A ghost killed him with his own gun. A ghost picked up a fucking real gun. Examined it. Pronounced to be dead. The gunshot wound on the left side of his lower jaw with a small shot about a f- number, a size number four of which had had penetrated the vertebrae of the neck and injured the spinal marrow. He got shot by a ghost with his own gun. That's crazy. On Beaver Lane. It's insane. You don't buy this? No. Do you believe this? I tr- yeah. She does. You buy it. Of course. Because so this the, shit happens in the Cebu all the time, probably. Maybe. So if the ghost can hold a gun, I can hold a knife. Yeah, that is very That's true. That's a nice point. <laughs> That's it's, an interesting see, and point. And I'm really a little nervous So now about we're it. getting to a point where I believe you now. I know. If you can hold a gun, you can hold a knife. It, but it depends on how strong the ghost was when it was alive. When the human... You know, you you might have to have extra extra strength to be able to hold something heavy in the afterlife. Well, maybe it's based on hatred. <laughs> <laughs> it's based on hatred. That is very true. Yeah. What level of hatred do you have for us? If I die? Yeah. Yeah. A hundred. Okay. Because theoretically, if you can hold a gun as a ghost, yeah. you can hold a knife as a ghost. You can hold also then hold your own penis. Then. Do you have penises <laughs> when you're ghost? Do ghosts have penises? I do. You have a ghost penis? I'm going to ask for it. Do you think in if the normal life you don't get a big penis, in the afterlife you do get one, and vice versa? I hope there's a store. Y- the comedy store? No, like there's a penis store in heaven. Oh, a penis shop. Where I wanted to like re-buy. I wanted to like re- You know what I mean? <laughs> what I didn't get in the first the first <laughs> pass. They're like, Bobby, on earth, we didn't bless you, but up here, you're getting blessed. Oh, I'll get... I'll get I'll, if I had... If there was a store, 
I'll have Channing Tatum's um, torso, please. Oh, you get to pick all of your parts? The whole body. You get to pick your parts. I'll have fucking Gwyneth Paltrow's eyes. Ooh. Right? Tatum's body, Paltrow eyes. Yeah. I'd, Harry Styles' lips. Beautiful You would lips. like that, right? Beautiful lips. Yeah, yeah. I would have um, the penis, Idris Elba. But we don't know what it looks like, bud. I don't care. Okay. Because I'll just tell people it's his dick. It's Idris Elba's dick. <laughs> yeah. Right. No matter what it looks like, they're like, it's a celebrity. It's you know fine. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good actor. You know Who's what I mean? Butt? They, Who's butt? Oh, butt. J Lo. J Lo's butt. Yeah. But butthole's different. Who's butthole? Justin Martindale. <laughs> <laughs> I like it loose. Loose goose. <laughs> loose goose. I like my butthole Ooh. loose. Yeah, yeah. So you can do didgeridoo in my butthole. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Okay, you pick your body what parts in the afterlife. Who are you, no who are you doing? You walk into the store. Somebody says, okay, welcome to the afterlife store. Pick your parts. I want to be Kendall Jenner. That All her parts? You just want to be her? We went down the list. Maybe like, maybe with a bigger butt. Like <laughs> You just want to be Kendall Jenner in the afterlife. Yeah, with hmm. big butt. Why don't you go to the animal department? That's what I do. I would go to the human, everything Kendall. Right, Kendall Jenner, you said? Yeah. Right? Then go to the animal department and go, give me the rhino butt. Rhino butt. Yeah. Okay. He has a big gray ass. I want her. I want Kim Kardashian's butt. I want that black guy that sent around that meme, that black guy with the with the long penis. You know that meme that always gets sent around? Oh, with the big, the big, the big thick muscle. guy. Oh, want, that guy? That penis. guy that died? Mm-hmm. You want his? I want his penis. I want Kim Kardashian's butt. I want, <laughs> I want, uh, whose face do I want? Imagine. Whose eyes do I want? Al, you know who I want? Alexandra yeah. Daddario's eyes. Have you seen her eyes? Yeah. A bit like piercing Pretty blue. Pretty good. And then whose hair do I want? Who's long, flowy? I Oh, uh, what's his name? What's the old sex romance novelist? What was the old... Fabio? Rom- pa- Fabio. Uh, Fabio. I want, Fabio. And Fabio's long, beautiful hair. Wow. I want to be Fabio with a big butt. Fabio with a big butt and a big black penis. Can also, I, also blue eyes. Can I, just, I want to throw... I want Freddy Krueger arm. You want one crazy hand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I want one, Freddy. I mean, we can go any. We you think can have of anything. It, it's heaven. Yeah, you can have anything. You can have anything you Do want. Do you get to change, or once you pick, you're in? You have props as well. I'll have a harp. Oh, you're carrying around a harp all day? <laughs> That's yeah. heavy. Freddy Cougar hand and a harp. In harp. The but the- bing, bam, 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 bam. <laughs> every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would break the. Sh- every time you, you go would to play. Break the sh- Angel Bobby. Do you have any props in the afterlife, Kendall? I want Kendall Jules. Uh, taco. Oh, oh taco. taco for At, sure. So even when you eat it, another one just appears. That's well. Really then you're making the assumption that Mexicans go to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't think they do. I don't. I don't know. think they do. I don't know. I just want their food. Uh, I get it. Right. Do you think there's a, a border wall in heaven as well that they have to get over? <laughs> <laughs> so wait, you want a taco that just it's a uh, uh, it's a continual taco. Every yeah. time you get you it comes back in one hand. What's in the other hand? Just my hand, so I can. You need a regular hand. Yeah. This yeah. guy didn't plan. He wants a harp and a and a fucking and knives. Bro, the harp isn't attached to the hand, <laughs> and yet it is. Yeah, but it's not an extension of the hand. And it's yes, something I'm holding. No, yes, it is though. <laughs> But you, oh, I made an extension it's harp. An extension hand. harp hand. So it's constantly. It, you have to. And think how <laughs> right. heavy I'm that is. I'm constantly just breaking the. <laughs> Good luck touching your penis with a harp hand or knives. Oh, I fucked it up. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I fucked it up. How about no prop? I think you got to keep it. No Freddy Krueger then. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you. That's fine. I have a regular hand. <laughs> you have thank one you. regular. Thank you. Thank you so we all need one regular hand. Yeah, yeah. I want one that's a. You remember in Beetlejuice when uh, he turns into that big thing and he's got those two hammers. <laughs> I want one of those big sledgehammers that, like from the carnival ride that, bing, you know that thing? Oh, yeah. That's, you want one of those I want things. one of those. So if anybody makes me mad, foof, you know, I can just, I can fucking, foof, I can kill him right there. You have one free hand one and then that. One free hammer hand. That's one of my favorite scenes when he does that. That's what I want, a hammer hand. Who's that? That's Fred, when Freddy, uh, when um, Beetlejuice becomes uh, that guy. Mm. Look at those big, beautiful Brilliant, hammers. Beautiful. Don't you want one? One weapon. DoorDash! Andy, I, Andrew, I know you're it, my I know. friend. <laughs> when I go to Hawaii, I only use DoorDash. When I go on the road, I only use DoorDash. It's the most reliable delivery service out there. It They're is. They're friendly. They have more options than uh, any of the other ones. That's how I feel. And I feel like um, the customer service is at the top lo- of the line. Well, look, you don't even have to get groceries anymore from them or food. You can also get deodorant or something from the store. They got all of that stuff you can get with DoorDash whenever you want it. I got Honestly, you want it. I went to DoorDash the other day and I got foot lotion. 
You mean you had DoorDash deliver you foot lotion? Yes. No, really? And it felt so good on my foot. The poor guy that had to go get you foot lotion That's just fine. to deliver to your house. Ordering is easy, guys. Open the DoorDash app, choose what you want from when you, where you want it, and your items will be left safely outside your door with the contactless delivery drop-off setting. Look, a lot of people probably know DoorDash. It's incredible. They connect you with the restaurants you love right now and right to your front door, and they've got over 300,000 partners in U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia. You can support those neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants. You know, Popeye's, Chipotle, Cheesecake Factory. It's the best one out. So for a limited time, guys, our listeners get 25% off and zero delivery fee wow. fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code BADFRIENDS2021. 25% off, up to a $10 value and, and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code BADFRIENDS2021. Don't forget that's code BADFRIENDS2021 for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subjects to change. Terms apply. Babel! Annyeong haseyo. Annyeong haseyo. Learning a new language, I feel so good by saying that because I can speak a second. I can't really, but my point is, is that <laughs> I, I want to learn. Yeah, you can learn, and I want to learn through Babbel. That's right. It's Babbel the number is one the e selling it's the language one, app. It's the easiest way to learn a new language. It is, Andrew. And um, Babbel's fifteen-minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Other apps use AI for the lesson plans. Babbel lessons were created by over a hundred language experts. Their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective. You can choose from fourteen different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. That's right. You can be fancy like fancy be. There's so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee, baby. Right now, save up to 65% off your first subscriptions when you go to babbel.com slash badfriends. That's babbel.com slash badfriends for up to 65% of your subscription. Babbel. Language for life. I'm still stuck on this idea that you'd kill us. I feel like we've been so nice to you all these... Yeah. I said if I die because of you, I'll kill How you. How would we kill you? How would we let you die? Oh, you mean at the roller coasters? Uh, but that's kind of your fault, not really ours. No, because I said I don't want to go. All right, we'd mm. make you go. Mm. But I guess... You yeah, but know. you swim with sharks. Yeah, right? that's way more dangerous. I'm still scared of the rides. Uh. They don't have those kind of things in the Philippines. You don't have life is a roller coaster in the Philippines. Yeah, that's you scary. Just get enough. on a regular bus, right? You could die. When you take is that when they're city buses? Is it scary when you just take a sit? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Are there like do people like, you know, you see those videos on the internet? There's a guy just pull his penis out and he just jerks off on the bus and they have to like let him. Never do seen it. that before. You've I've never seen that. See. Where? Dude, this happens all the time. In person. And they can't. And you can't say no. People just like let it happen. Wait, wait. I'm on a bus. Mm. Minding my own business. Mm -hmm. I have to go to CVS. Yeah. I need a destination when I'm doing sure, the scenarios. Sure, I get it. No, I totally get so it. So what am I getting? I'm getting- Toothpaste, um, for sure. No. Fuck no. You're out. All right. I need one of those like- um... Just pick it up, will you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No. Okay, fine. I will not. What do you need? I need a chest, like one of those like um, th um, menthol chest grubs. Oh, oh, uh, vapor rub. Exactly. Got it. Right. I get it. What do you? Are you sick? No, I just like them. Oh, you just wanted to sleep. I like the sensation on my chest. Will you give warmth. me some Epsom salt while you're there? The lavender one, the big bag. You like Epsom? Love Epsom salt. Dude, I do I not love Epsom salt? It's my favorite. It's my Do you I, ever use it? No. I have bags. Oh of my it, god. But I use it for my foot. You soak your you soak your feet in it. No. What? No. What do you do? I forget it. Bob? It's not a thing. Well, you're gonna, you're gonna go now. Okay, so You know how you my legendary left foot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know about it? <laughs> yeah, I think everybody on earth knows about it. So about three months ago, Kalila was awoken by it. They had a mind of its own. It woke her. No, it didn't go, wake up. It doesn't. Have... No, it doesn't do that. I was scratching it oh. late with, at night. With your hand or your other foot? I do both. Because I rub my feetsies together sometimes. No, I use my hand. Mm. And what I used to do is, this is so gross, but um, mm -hmm. I used to peel the skin off of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I ate two hours before the show, knowing that this might something might come up. <laughs> yeah. And when she was just like, she looked at me at, in the night. And she's like, "That's really gross, right?" Mm -hmm. And I go, "Yeah, I think I'm done." So I stopped doing it. My foot is almost healed. Really? Yeah. You finally don't have any scabbing or anything anymore. It does no more itch. Wow. And I've been using Epsom salt. And that's been helping. Yes. Wait, well, how do you, you soak it, right? You just No, soak I just, I take the crystals. Right, the Epsoms. Right, and if I have in between the toes an itchy feeling, 
like a little red bump with some itchiness. Mm-hmm. I take fucking Epsom salt, right? And I put it on that little red, you know, thing on the skin. And I start rubbing it until it bleeds. Wait, that's not yeah, a yeah, good yeah. idea. Yeah, I do. Why would you do that? Because it feels so fucking good. Till it bleeds? Yeah, and I need, once I scrub it, it feels so, and then it gets numb, mm-hmm. almost. Yeah. And then the feeling goes away. And that's helping. It feels great. I don't know if that's in the directions. <laughs> it feels good, though. What is, look up Epsom salt. I definitely don't think you're supposed to do that. I think you're supposed to just put it in hot water, let it soak. And I don't know what it means, by the way. What is Epsom? Go to like what it is. Go to like Wikipedia of what it is. What it, it's salt, man. No, you don't know. It's a special kind of salt. It's deep sea, man. Is it just deep it's sea? It's deep sea salt, It's magnesium man. sulfate. From the deep. But what is so special about it? I don't... Oh, it's MGSO4. That's what it is. The MG4 MGSO4 aspect of it that makes is sense. what attacks the fungi. I can't believe you don't use it. It's, it feels so good at night. You guys, you have a bath. Don't you have a bathtub? What do you use it for? You don't listen, do you? We've no. talked for five minutes. I just listened to Tito Bobby rubbing it on his foot. Yeah, you can do that. And what You can else? fill up a bathtub and turn up hot water and do that. You can also smoke it. Some people smoke it. <laughs> you never smoke bath salts? You never heard of this? Oh, you got to smoke it. You got to smoke it. Or snort it. That's also fun, but you got to crush it up a little you gotta bit. You got to crush it up a bit. Have you tried it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> G wants to Bath salts? Yeah, I get hungry for flesh. I've eaten. I've eaten a guy's whole face. Have you ever known this? People eat faces. People. There was a guy that ate a guy in Florida. Bath salts. On bath salts. Do you know that? No. You never heard of this? We used to do it all the time. Andrew and I used to go to Florida all the, all time, the time and take fucking bath salts. Tampa, baby. Look it up. Bath salts. You don't believe us? Bath salt guy eats man's face. Yeah, yeah. You n- you never heard of this at all? No. It's like a th- it used to be a vacation thing to do in the nineties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Face eating attack prompt, pr- pr- prompted by bath salts. It's crazy to think that that's what causes people to do it. Have you ever been on any drug that made you want to get violent towards somebody else, Bob? No. Never. I've taken a lot of drugs over the years. I've never had one that made me even think about harming somebody. Yeah, I've never done that. You know, Actually, you know the only thing that does make me think that way? Uh. Is booze. And that's the most legal. Yeah. Booze is the only time I've ever been in a fist fight or an aggressive argument. I I've never been on drugs and gotten aggressive with somebody. Well, in my times before when I was loaded and stuff, I like to go cheek to cheek with people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like touching cheeks with people. I thought you meant butt to butt. No, 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 no. Facial. But that's sweet and soft. Yeah, and I like to whisper sweet nothings in their ear. What would you say? Hi. My hi. highs are great. Hi. 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 Right? And they go, hi, right? Who, who are you? Because I'm at a bar. And you go, shh, 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 shh. Right. So quiet. somebody's sitting behind in a bar. Mm-hmm. They ordered a drink. I'm behind. Put my arms around them. Mm. Stick my f- mouth by their ear. Hey, baby, what's up? Is it a guy? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Right. And they go, what the fuck, bro? Stop touching me like that. Don't touch me, dog. Yeah, yeah. I, go, I always go, you want to wrestle. <laughs> do, do, did you wrestle people? What? Would you wrestle people in the bar? Oh, yeah. Just I just I You just start going in the bar. Dude, when you on I was on the wrestling team, and if you whisper things in their ear, mm-hmm. it you have the advantage because they feel like they're inferior. Well, I was on acid once. I was on that wrestling tournament, and I I was touching this guy's body. I was on top. Yeah. And I whisper in his ear. I go, "Your body feels so weird, <laughs> right?" And he goes, "What?" And I remember being able to like pin him because he wanted to get it over with. Because he was so scared and weirded out. Yeah, yeah. Did you guys ever grab? Be honest, because I know nothing about wrestling. Did you ever grab each other's penis? Is that a thing that happens? Do you use it? I've, uh, Let me tell you why I asked. I, I've been on top of a guy. Yeah. You're wearing singlets. I know. I've seen him. Yeah. Right? And I've been on top of a guy and I've had the wrists like this. Mm-hmm. Right? This is my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a wrestling You had a wrestling match. Yeah, yeah. But I wear singlets at right. home. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, but when you do this and you're and you're singlet, because you're not wearing an underwear. So I've, I've pressed my genitals with their genitals through the singlets before. To feel good? Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. It does. Yeah. Any organ against your organ? Feel, Anything. Feels good. Foot, arm. Yeah. Do you, you were at the club last night? Yeah. I went and had dinner across the street at that Pendry Hotel. Was it good? Holy fuck, it was amazing. Would you go with? Your friends? Friends. No, friends. A, b- a bunch of friends. Actually, you know what I was going to say to you? Mm. I don't want to bring that down, but do you? did you know Matt Billen that passed away? I knew him. That's so sad. Yeah, death in comedy is... Um, Common. Yeah, because we're human beings and we all die. No, but I feel like there's a lot of death in comedy. I feel like we lose people all the time. 
Yeah, it's super sad. But he was a really good kid. And also, somebody told me somebody told me today, you can Google this, another guy, a com- Matt Price, maybe his name, he was a comic and a magician. I know Matt Price. Well, n- he's gone. Not Matt Price, Skippy from... No. This is another what, guy. But that's Mark Price. Mark Price. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Matthew Price was a 27-year-old magician and comedian from Lehigh Acres. He was gunned down on Sunday in L.A. Dude, he was going to a convenience store and got shot. There's no motive. He was killed, robbed and killed. What the fuck is going on? Isn't that crazy? I don't. I didn't know this man, but someone else told me about it today, and I was like, what the fuck is going on? By the way, if you're going to rob me, just take my shit. Don't kill me. Just take all my stuff. Yeah. Why kill if you're going to rob me? Just rob me. I think when chaos and stuff like that is happening, I feel like, do you have a good street sense? Well, yeah. Yeah. I feel like my street sense is okay. I have very good street sense. I yeah. mean, but also you don't know where you are sometimes. That's in the sense part of, of my street sense. No, no, but I'm just saying you don't know what's going on sometimes and Wait, what you're saying that I don't you're saying that I don't know if chaos is going on. No, no, no. A, if I'm in a fucking grocery store and some, and three guys come in with machine guns, I wouldn't know what to do. I feel like it's less blatant. I feel like if people came in and started something, not with machine guns, but started some kind of like hostage robbery thing, I don't think you'd know what to do. That's so rude. What's your first move? Le- pretend I'm dead. There you go. That's a good one. You don't want to help? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll help. Who are you going to help? First, you got to you got to assess the situation. I'm buying oatmeal. Why? Because I love oatmeal. But what kind? I like um, Irish. Oh, Irish oats. Yeah, I like Irish steel oats. Steel-cut oats. I love steel-cut. Thank you. You're welcome. Supporting Very good people. stuff. Supporting my people. So I'm in the fucking... Ir- uh, I'm getting Irish oatmeal, right? <laughs> and I hear what? No guns, you're saying? No guns, but they come and you start hearing rumbling. So help, like, I think, help, right? I think these guys are tying people up. Immediately, I lay on my belly. Mm-hmm. I throw in all the Irish oats I can find. On top on the, of you. On top of me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. So I'm just like, ah, right? So I can create like a pile. <laughs> a mound of Irish oats. Of Irish oats, right? Right. <laughs> and then I'll stick one arm on, right? And hopefully there's ketchup around. Oh, you That's gotta, part of my plan. Is that in the same aisle? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think ketchup and oats are in the same aisle. I would crawl. You'd crawl, I would crawl to, to the, the fuck, ketchup. To, 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 to get the ketchup aisle. To go to the ketchup aisle. Yeah, but I would still hold some of the Irish, you know what I mean? Oats? Oats on my body. Got it. With the camouflage. Got it. So I would be just crawling with a bunch of like Irish oats on my body. <laughs> Look at that round Irish oat shark. <laughs> right, 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 that's right. Get to the ketchup aisle. I stick one and I would just pour ketchup on my... And then lay there. And lay there and do convulsions. So you're not dead. Yeah. Even though they don't have guns, they're probably thinking to themselves, why is that guy acting what like is that? What he doing? Well, yeah. you're crazy. <laughs> He's just, yeah, I'm just, imagine with ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's on my body, right? Shaking. They're just going, what is he They'd doing? probably hire you. They'd be like, you want to be on our team? This guy's out of his fucking mind. That's my job? Yeah. Dude, you that's then, a, then, dude, that's the best job. Well, let me tell you something. If guys came in and they took people hostage, but they saw that you were crazy or they liked you and they, they're like, Bobby, Bobby Lee. And they're like, Hey man, look, we're either gonna kill everyone in here and take them hostage, or you're gonna be on our team. You gonna start killing people with them? I would. Ooh, what a scenario! This is a good scenario. What I would do is I would pretend. Pretend you're going to kill people. Yeah, I would go through the motions, but not really. Do but it. the big dog is like, I want to see him do it to make sure we can trust him. Oh, so they're holding a woman down, like an mm. eighty-year-old woman down. And she's ninety-six. And wh- what kind of weapon do they give me? A club, a billy club. Oh fuck, that's hard. You one. gotta beat him. You can't stab him or shoot him. You gotta beat this. I would do. A, I would do. A, I would do this. Check this out. And I'm the 96 year old woman, right? Yeah, I learned this in. I learned this in. Um, I learned this in like wrestling, like pro wrestling, right? What? So I would go. I would put oh, my stomp foot down, your foot. Stomp as if I'm hitting the body, right? <laughs> <laughs> Am I doing it? You're doing Am it. I, I, I'm telling the guy. I'm doing it right. He's but, like, keep going, right? But but what's really happening is she's going. What are you doing? Oh, sorry. Why are you doing that? See, she wouldn't move. Oh, she's not because she's not getting hurt. She doesn't know. Then I whisper. <laughs> and she goes, I got it. Right, right. Thank right. you. And, and then, then hand, what, I, what do I have in this hand? What is in that hand? Ketchup. Ketchup. Right. Ketchup. Right. <laughs> Squirt, right? Squirt, <laughs> right? Bleeding. I'm bleeding and now I'm dying. Right, right. Okay, so then they believe you. Yeah, yeah. I guess that makes perfect sense. Thank you. If you if these people came <laughs> into the grocery store, Rudy, and they said, you got to be on our team and kill people or we're going to kill you, what are you going to do? Is he going to be with me? No. <laughs> No, you're alone. You're alone. Why? Why? 
You're alone in the grocery store. <laughs> How about this? How about you're in the ketchup aisle, yeah. right? I'm in the <laughs> fucking the Irish aisle. aisle, right? We both have to get the same thing, right? So both our bodies at one point were crawling by each other. <laughs> just two just two snakes on the ground. <laughs> we're crawling by each other. She's already got ketchup on her body. And I go, where are you going? You're going? I'm going to the Irish aisle. <laughs> I go, why can't you use the, the Prince fucking bomb bat? Why do you have to get the Irish O? He's like, I need the Irish O. That's oats. my thing. No, but it helps Find me. Find other boxes. <laughs> yeah. That'd be crazy. So if he's with you, you're going to, if, if he's, say you're, <laughs> let's say you're alone. Would you start killing people for the hostage people? These are, th these are criminals, man. These are bad guys. Yeah, maybe I'll just kill one. You would kill one person to stay in the cr in the crew? Yeah. But what if you liked it? And they were like, isn't it fun? And you're like, kind of. Then I'll stick with them. You'll stick around. How easy would she be in a gang? She'd be so good in a gang. Because she's a yes person. She's down. She'll just do it. She's just down to do it. Yeah. Could you be in a gang? No. I think the perks would be amazing. I couldn't do it. I no? couldn't kill anybody. What if you don't need to kill? What if you just need to... I'll be a runner. Like a, mule, a drug mule? Yeah. Like, like you have to put all this coke in your butt and fly to... <laughs> Yeah, I would do that. Would you do that? Yeah. How much Coke? That's like a pound and a half. <laughs> of Coke in my butt? Mm hmm Is that doable? Uh, what, how much, what's the most amount of Coke someone swallowed in balloons? Have you ever seen people I know, used I've to swallow in, balloons? Well, heroin for prisons and stuff. I've seen that. But Or Coke. People used to swallow balloons of Coke. Oh, they did? And, okay. they, and then they'd have, to fart, they'd have to poop them out when they get to where they're going. Yeah. What, were, what happens if it doesn't come out? You'd be scared? Well, if one breaks, you're dead. If right. You, if one breaks, it's over. You're dead. But if I'm sh if I eat a bunch of cocaine that's in a balloon, yeah, it doesn't s dissolve in my belly. A man swallowed nearly three pounds of cocaine and 148 pellets. Investigators say Errol Simpson, 41 of Jamaica, swallowed 148 pellets containing cocaine that weighed nearly three pounds. Three fucking pounds of cocaine were in his body. He was arrested earlier this month at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. Wow. Oh my God. That guy's a champ. Is it? Yeah. Three pounds of cocaine. That's a lot of money, right? I mean, how much is that worth? I don't know. I'm not good at that. How much is three pounds of cocaine worth? I mean, that's just a... Well, let's take a guess. Three pounds three of pounds cocaine. pounds of cocaine. What's a pound? Let me just weigh it with my hand. There it is. That looks that's exactly a, That's like a, a pound, pound right there. That's yeah. a pound, right? This is worth $12,000. A pound of cocaine is worth twelve grand. i don't know. I've, I, I've never bought cocaine. Well, so me I neither. Know. I know. That's why this is a good experiment. I would say it's... Oh, well, I would say it's over a hundred thousand dollars. I would say, yeah. One pound. Oh no, I'm thinking about what he did. Three pounds. Oh, oh, one pound. I bet you one pound is like seventy. Or how grand. much is a pound of Mar seventy uh, grand of cocaine? Do one pound. Do one pound of cocaine worth? I say seventy grand. What does Rudy say? Um, fifteen. Fifteen G's. Twelve G's. Fifteen. I say seventy-five. Okay. All right. Let's Go see. Ahead. Street prices on cocaine. R cocaine retail. That's so funny. <laughs> Oh, the fucking, oh, fucking graph. What the Jesus fuck is going Christ, on here? Who did that? Let's just go to Reddit. Reddit always knows. Mm. Twelve prices range from twelve G's to thirty five G's per kilo. What's a kilo? Two point two pounds. Two point two pounds. Oh, so so I was closest. Yeah, You're but look, but then it says, pound. however, the price of kilogram cocaine range from. Uh, man, this is tough. I haven't done cocaine since high school, so if I did one pound of cocaine right now, would I die? Pretty sure. The average amount of cocaine that someone can do can't be close to a pound. The most cocaine you... What's the most cocaine somebody can do in one sitting? Have you ever done cocaine, Rudy? No. Have you ever been offered cocaine? Don't ever do it. No. Don't ever do it. Because of fentanyl, you can't do it. No, it's so bad. It's so bad. Have you ever been offered cocaine at a party? No. So no one's ever said, hey, do you want a bump or do you want to go skiing or... No. No one used code words on you? No. Hey, Brownie, you ever seen white? Oxycontin, you can. You can do Oxy. Yeah, we're Oxy's okay with Oxy. The, yeah, that... That's insane that we're approving her to do Oxy. <laughs> <laughs> but marijuana is okay for you to use. We're okay with that we're and okay mushrooms. We're okay with that, yeah. But nothing else. Uh, or ketamine. Ketamine we're okay with. What is ketamine again? Special K. Yeah. You never did that? No. When you were using? I did. Uh, I did. Um, what's that? Um, not Molly, but the other one. Ecstasy. So it's kind of the same thing. Is it? Kind of. MDMA is like the purest form of ecstasy. Yeah, I when I did ecstasy once, I, I started masturbating in public. Just outside? Yeah, at the Bellagio. 
In Vegas? Yeah. What the fuck? And then Ike Barinholtz had to drag me to my hotel room by my hair. And just watch you jerk off in No, he just room? dragged me through the fucking hotel to get me into my fucking hotel room. <laughs> Wait, were you doing like a mad promo there? Yeah. No, we used to go to uh, Vegas a lot. You know, after like a season wrap, we would just all go. Yeah. Right? And take a trip. And would that you was gamble? A... Oh, yeah. You did? What did you play? Dude, can I tell you the worst? So I want, I'm so mad at Adam. Adam, Did Adam ever tell you the story? Adam Egan? No, Adam Ray. Oh, no. What happened? So he opens for me in Fort Lauderdale, mm-hmm. and there's a casino there, right? Mm-hmm. And um, I'm just fucking around. Now, I don't have my ID. Why? I just didn't have it. Oh, right. Right. Um, I had an expired driver's license. Mm-hmm. So I'm sitting there, and I'm, I'm just fucking around between shows and whatever, and then I click the thing, and all the bells and whistles go off. Like on a slot machine. Yeah. <laughs> Things are fucking, you know. And now I'm going, what the fuck? I don't have my ID. Cause they're coming now. Right. So I'm texting Adam Ray, going, get over here right now because I don't have my ID. They're not going to give me the money. So you have to come here and pretend that you won this. Right. To claim the money. But he's chasing girls. Mm. You know how they do that? Mm-hmm. So the lady comes up to me. She goes, "All right, well, congratulations. You made. I, I think I won like thirty-five grand. Holy shit!" And she goes, um, "ID." And I go, "I don't have it." She's like, "You can't get the money." So I go, "What? That's fucking crazy." I'm playing here at the fucking casino. Yeah. So I ended up going to like some office or some like some chief. Oh, the chief was there. Yeah. You know, he's like, "You have to go." Hello, Bobby. Bobby, you have to go. I heard back you to LA. won. L.A. Grab your ID. Fly back, and no. then we'll give you the money. Really? Yeah. Did you do that? No. You just left the thirty-five left the grand on the table. I left the money. Wow. What a fucking bummer, dude. Adam's fault. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Adam owes me thirty-five grand. Did you? Does he know about this? Does he know that he cost you thirty-five grand? You should call him and tell yeah, him. Yeah, I should ask him. I can't believe that's insane that he fucked that up for you. He fucked it up for me. And after was that the last time he ever opened for you? Yep, it was. <laughs> well, when you lose thirty five grand from an opener, yeah, you know I mean that awfully does something to the relationship. <laughs> you know what I mean? Here we go, Adam Ray. Let's hear what he's got to say about it. All right. Upstart. Upstart. You know what? I've had a lot of credit card debt in my life. Same. And you know that's a lot of stress. Yeah, it's the worst. Enough. You know we have the pandemic, all these things. Why be stressed out and bogged down by all these? Debt, right? You go to Upstart and it can clear it up. It can s- consolidate everything into one thing. It's incredible. If you don't know what Upstart is, it's the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with one personal loan done all online. If it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over a million people have tried Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment with a clear payoff date. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you dread it, like looking at your credit card statements like I do, you're not alone. The weight of debt can be crippling. But Upstart can help you on your path to financial freedom. Rather than looking for a credit uh, score alone, they, Upstart, considers other factors like your income, current employment, and credit history to find you a smarter rate for your specific loan. So much relief in this, right? Yeah, receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. You can find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash badfriends. That's upstart.com slash badfriends. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. That's right. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit income and certain other information provided in your loan application upstart.com slash bad friends blue chew oh my god andrew my pp is ed it is yeah and it doesn't work and i've been using blue chew to get my member ready for war look the fall is here everyone can use a stiff breeze Uh, that's right this episode sponsored by blue chew blue chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as viagra and cialis but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You did tell me last night at Sushi that you have been having trouble with your yeah, PP. Yeah, yeah, And I got to tell you, this works, doesn't it? I've been it? using this, yeah. <laughs> it does it really work. does work. It yeah. actually really works. It's simple. Sign Next up time I say, tell, say stuff to you during dinner, not say that out loud, but... Yes, I did In say In this that. case, it, it makes perfect sense. You're right. You did say it. Yeah. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com. Consult with one of their licensed medical providers. Once you're approved, you're going to receive your prescription within days. Yeah. BlueChew's tablets are made in the USA. Yeah, buddy. And prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. Look, millions of men go through this. It's not embarrassing. It's Don't not a big ashamed. deal. All you got to do is pop this thing in your mouth, chew, chew, chew it's away. so easy. And then you get, you get a big beam coming out of your waist. Yeah, like a... 
young man. Like a young, young fellow. Uh, if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help, Bob. And we got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code BADFRIENDS at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code BADFRIENDS to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. See what ring he answers. Two. He might not pick up, huh? Oh, there he is. Bobby Lee. Adam, I'm, you're on Bad Friends right now. Oh, what's up, guys? Oh, <laughs> oh you caught me. Uh, you caught me uh, halfway through a uh, a dinner where uh, my stepdad was pitching me a movie about uh, guys who have Benjamin Buttons disease in space. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great fucking movie. How high yeah. are you guys? Yeah, are you guys high? Uh, I'm on a little bit of an edible. I'm at a, a family dinner at my um, at my folks' place, and uh, yeah, it's a lot right now. It's a lot. My <laughs> mom literally told me uh, if I wanted some of the juice in the bowl of mushrooms on my rice, that I could reach for it and put it on my fucking rice. Can you guys uh, buy me a ticket back to LA? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Literally, you caught me fired up, baby. All right, Adam. Uh, I, will you, I called you for a specific incident that you and I had. Do you remember when you opened for me in Fort Lauderdale? Oh yeah, and I was um yeah. I'll take it from here, Bobby. So okay. I was, uh, <laughs> we were in we were in Fort Lauderdale. Jealous, Santino. Yeah. Oh, you're going to Dania soon. Yeah, I'm going to be there. All right. Let's well, plug those dates real quick. I've already been there when this comes out. Great, great, great. Man, you had so much fun. <laughs> so day. fun, yeah, dude. Crushed, I loved it. Dude. I loved it. And, Get to the uh, story! So, so Bobby and I are uh, we're doing the Fort Lauderdale Improv. It's awesome. There's, as you know, a hard rock, like Vegas-style strip of restaurants and nightclubs. You see a lot of guys named Brandon looking to fight guys named Tyler. Uh, <laughs> we, went to, we went to Maggiano's and got all the food. I it love that place. I learned, it was where I learned truly, Bobby, and, you know, I'll go on record saying this best guy that i have went on the road with you fucking just was like we're going to eat this is a thing we're doing i'm buying everything on the menu take a couple bites take it with you take it to the green room give it to a bum give it to a girl who's trying to hook up with a bum yeah (laughs) and just let's just spread the wealth and we got everything so then we go to the shows we do the shows i meet a girl there and um and i'm you know, at this point, feeling pretty good, Andrew. I did about 28 minutes of comedy. Four were great. <laughs> and I'm now in the casino. And um, and uh, I'm like, Bobby, I think I'm going to go hang out with this girl in the, in the room. Bobby, I, am I still telling the right story? I guess. We hope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then Bobby, uh, Bobby was gambling, uh, as he does. Uh, but this, was, this time it was off stage. <laughs> and uh and so he's uh he's great fucking attacked me for uh, a reason he's, <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's he's a fucking that, asshole he starts uh, oh, wow. hitting what what they call in the uh, gambler's world a hot streak and uh and and i think hit maybe i want to say maybe you won 10 to fifteen thousand dollars. No, it was like 30 it was like 30 grand yeah, that sounds way too high. Let's go with let's go with thirteen. <laughs> let's go. With, uh, I'll, I'll, let's do twenty grand. Twenty. Let's say tw- let's 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 come to terms on an even nineteen five. All right, nineteen so five. Bob, I made nineteen thousand so dollars. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. So you you uh, you didn't have your ID, if uh, memory serves me. Yeah, yeah. you're right. And so uh, and so he goes. Well, I need my buddy, my feature. My confidant, my pal, the guy I tried to get me to take extends from the gas station with late night. <laughs> I, dangled dates, I dangled dates over his head and say, hey, if you don't eat these 32 oysters, I know you hate seafood and texture, then you can't go to San Jose, Phoenix, in Dallas. <laughs> so this guy is just dangling a world in front of me. And, uh, and I'm up in the room, and, yeah. um, and I'm trying to be, um, I lost you know, tw- just a, a lost guy 20 living grand. his life. I lost 20 grand. And, yeah, so Bobby, uh, Bobby didn't have, have his ID. He wanted me to come down and pretend I was the guy that won. And um, why and didn't I you do able it? To, to why? receive the phone call, and Bobby was furious. Wait, you were hooking up. That's why you couldn't come down. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. I was, I was being a feature. I was being a feature. You know. Oh, that, that was just, buddy. Well, I hope that was twenty thousand dollars worth of pussy because you really fucked it up. 
Yeah, it was. I mean, look, is it something that I think about every time uh, I get a call live on a podcast? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do feel bad about it. I'll tell you that much. You know, I'm a sensitive guy. That definitely. I uh, that hurt. I didn't care what happened after uh, to to you taking me on the road. I felt real bad as a person and a friend. So it's, it's, all it's okay. Right. It's okay. All right, Adam. Thank you. Love you. I love you, buddy. Big fan. Bye. You know what I? I you know what I re- I'm rewatching fucking Sopranos from from the start. Because of the movie? No, just because I felt because it's available on HBO now to download, and I can download it on my iPad. I forgot how good. fucking good. It's so good. It's so fucking good. I mean, Gandolfini is unfucking real. Yeah, he's with us. I'm he's rewatching best. every episode from scratch. I started from season one again. I wanted to do that with The Wire as well. Someone else just said that to me, but I liked The Wire. But I, but by the end, I was like, mm. yeah. I kind of cut. I, I cut me out a little bit. Yeah. Sopra- but Sopranos from- was good all the way through. Look, Dexter was great too. Dexter was great. The yeah. pr- the thing about Sopranos is because so much time has passed. When was it first on the air? Two thousand and. Uh, Eight is my guess, but that pro- that sounds maybe wrong. Soprano, but dude, it was so long ago that when you see it, ninety nine, holy fuck! So just it looks, you know, it's not shot as well as shit is shot today. It's not. There's so many things about it. You're like, wow, if you shot this show today, yeah, it would be fucking on. Un- it would be unbelievable. The greatest show that's ever existed. Yeah, and it's already still m- one of my favorites. But I watched. I've been watching this on the airplane, and Rick and Morty. I got into Rick and Morty. It's pretty good. It's so fucking funny. Uh, inside it's... job too, pretty good. <laughs> inside jobs. <laughs> inside job, pretty good. What's inside job? It's animation I'm on. Oh, I did see you preview that. I did see you put push that. <laughs> I saw the first episode. You did? I'm not yet done with it. Is yeah. it good? Oh, my buddy Clark Duke is on it. Yeah. It's on Netflix. Yeah. Is that you, the girl? I'm the no. Look at the no. <laughs> Which look, show me look, Bobby Lee's you'll character. You'll be able to tell if you get the group together. It's a chubby little Korean guy? No. That's you with the... That's me. That's funny. That's cute, Bob. <laughs> that, that's cute. <coughs> that side-by-side side they did of you and that guy is wonderful. <laughs> What's the character's name? Dr. Andre? Yep. Dr. Andre. He's just a drug addict doctor. Love it. Yeah. I love when they pitch that in the room. They're like, who'd be good at this? Bobby. Drug What's addict, yeah. Asian, because doctors are Asian. Oh, yeah, Bobby. Yeah. That's fucking great. That's you. Thank you. So watch what's, Inside what's Job. That? Watch that as well. You've never seen it. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm, I heard it's good. Have you read any of the scripts or just your lines? The beginning I did, yeah. How many episodes? Ten? Yeah, ten. That's awesome, Bob. But it took years. Yeah, it takes a fucking long time. I just finished it's one. It's weird. It's like the, you get a call and they go, all right, next week... Episode one twelve, one sixteen, and then you, every year, you just get, you go. This is never going to come out. Yeah, and then it does. I just finished one called Royal Crackers that will come out at the end of next year, I think. Yeah, animation takes fucking forever. It takes forever, forever and ever. Yeah, but anyway. I mean, I can't wait to see it. I'm going to watch it. Okay, thank Everybody you. Everybody, watch. No, don't watch it. It's Netflix. <sighs> well, fucking, they don't need your views, do they? <sighs> Listen, anything that you're fucking in, I'm going to fucking promote it. All right? All right. I promoted something that I'm in, Watch right? I threw it out job. there, and, and, and you're doing this right now. Watch Inside Job. All right, I'm saying, you know, you you pitch Davey and your road dates and whatnot. I'm on, I'm fucking pitching a fucking animation show that I did. You don't I even know on. what it is. I know, but it's on. Okay, but you should know what it is. It's about conspiracy. It's a government. Okay, government look, I'm a go- reporter from Variety. Oh, my God. Bobby Lee, thank you for coming today. Tell us all about Inside Job and your character on Inside Job. It's a covert government agency, right? And we deal with conspiracy theories and this and that. This and that? Yep. And that's what the show's about. What was your favorite part of the, of the show? All right. Anyway, um, what did you don't love? watch it. Don't watch it. No, watch don't it. Don't watch Inside Job. Fuck it. Let's let's move on. Please watch Inside Job. You fucking cocksuck. On Whatever. Netflix. Fuck you. A place where neither Bobby nor I have a special. Inside Job. Don't on you, Netflix. Don't you think we're going to get one, though? I don't know. I feel like we are. You should think Bad Friends should have a special on there for sure. If nothing should more, I just do, should we just do a Bad Friends special on Netflix? Yeah, I'd be down. Do you to think do that it. would help? Help what? Our emotional status. Do you think we'll get another special after that one, or you think? <laughs> Depends on how good it is. <laughs> but I think that if you and I did, if we did a Bad Friends thirty-five tour, minutes, Bad Friends tour slash special, we could we could put that on Netflix. 
I don't know if people would want to see that, but I don't know. I think they would. You do? What I do you Rudy's would. are Rudy, what do you think? I don't want to do it. Got it. <laughs> I do love that. I know. We're gonna make her do it. You're gonna do it. You don't have a choice. What am I gonna do? Yeah, what we'll do sketches? We'll do sketches with. We'll us. do sketches. We'll do sketches, and you'll play characters. You don't like wig play. You don't like wig prosthetics. play. Prosthetics. <laughs> you don't like wig play. <laughs> you don't like it. You're not a big fan of wig play. No. Oh. We're gonna make you do it. Have you ever worn a wig? Yeah, no. she has on the show. She oh has. yeah, one time. No, but I mean in your real life. No. Never. Never. You have you ever worn a wig in your real life? Transformed into somebody else. Disappeared into a character. I used to use the black spray. What 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 is that? To f- hide the bald spots. Black spray? What's black spray? There's a black spray like it's, it's like, like spray, spray paint. paint. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it works. You don't have bald spots. What are you talking about? It's thinning. And, well, <laughs> every man, every human. Anyway, I don't know what I'm gonna say because you know I got kicked out of that hotel. You did? Yeah. Why did you get kicked out of the hotel? You can say it. I was smoking a cigarette out in. The, there's only two rooms in the. <laughs> balcony and i asked for that room so you could smoke so i can smoke cigarettes reasonable i'm out there having a cigarette like i always do for years i've been doing this like a couple years at this hotel Mm -hmm. i hear fucking two stories up i'm smoking out there i look up and there's a head coming down looking down Mm -hmm. hey this is a no smoking premises i go what don't or i'll i'll rat you out and i go Dude, what the fuck? He's like, yeah, man, I'm warning you. So like, so I had to smoke in the room <laughs> that because was I was afraid. Instead of taking a walk outside. No, 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 no. It's five stories up. So now I'm smoking in the room, looking up to see if he's there. But meanwhile, now the, the hotel room smells. <laughs> you feel like that? And I got a call going, you're banned from the, the hotel for, for life. Did they charge you for the smoking in the room? I don't know. I just got one call from a producer. We had to put you in a different hotel. I go, all right, I'm sorry. Because you were smoking in the room? Who cares? Well, you can't smoke inside. Yes, this isn't can. 1986. Dice does it. <laughs> Dice open, it's lit a cigarette at, at, at a gate at LAX. And what? And not recently? No, but 20 no. years ago. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can't do that anymore? No, you can't. Why? I would love to go on a plane with you and have you light up a cigarette on an airplane. But you know, they, when you go through the security checkpoint, you can't go through it with me. Why? Because you get flagged every fucking time? No, I would, there's always an argument. So <laughs> these guys have to go in separately. Why Why do you argue with the security? Ari Shafir. Ari Shafir is working security now at TSA? No, no, but Ari Shafir told me that you don't have to listen to them. You do? They're not the police. I know, but this is what he was trying to get in my head. <laughs> he goes, they're not the police. And I go, oh, really? Yeah, they don't really have any power. rights and power, right? So I go, what do I do? He's like, just give them the minimum amount. Why made it make it harder? I know, but on what you? I'm saying, so what I purposely do is I um, sometimes when they, I, one time I put a pocket pussy in there and it made it wet. In your suitcase? <laughs> yeah, so I put this wet pocket pussy Smart. in my fucking, cr- just so that they could have to take out this wet thing. Sir? Yeah, yeah. And they're, and I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm not embarrassed by it. No. So yeah, that's not that's not gonna explode. That's Sheila. Right. So they'll they'll do this and they'll put it back in and that's <laughs> it. But i but here's what I don't like. After you go to the security checkpoint, mm. you give them the ID and your fucking boarding pass, right? At that point, don't ask me where I'm going. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. So right. after I do that, when somebody goes, Wow, so where are you going? I always go, It's none of your fucking business. That's where the problem was. You're begging right. for trouble. You're begging for trouble. You're Kyle Ritten and Ari, your way around the airport. Yeah, exactly. Ari taught me how to do that. <laughs> good example. It's not a good thing. No. No. Not the guy to follow. Not the good guy. So every time I'm there, right, there's always a problem. Why don't you just make it? Why don't you just get the TSA and all that shit and go it's through? It's fun. Do you not have clear? I have clear. Yeah. You don't have is to talk clear to anybody. You just boop, boop, and you walk right through. Well, yeah, but sometimes clear, the line is so low that doing it is longer. So I'll just go the regular way. Really? Yeah. Let's watch this video. All right, let's watch it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Ready? Hell yeah. Load that clip, little girl. Yee! Yee! Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. She's so good with a gun. It's unbelievable. 
All right, set the bar at 1180 with that one. Let me see what I can do. Well, I'm not rubbing that, robbing that house. <laughs> That's insane. How good well, that, that what, girl comes out of nowhere with those glasses on. How old is that kid? Ten. It's how, amazing. How old are kids like that? You're a girl. How old is that girl? <laughs> she looks like eight. Eight. Yeah. Jesus Christ. And she's that good with a gun. That's amazing. But scary. I mean, it, but but cool. It's very cool. If my daughter was that, I'd be so I'd be cool. Safe. Yeah, so cool. I would. Uh, she'd protect the house. Yeah, bring that. Put that in your uh, backpack. I go, baby. For school. When so I hear a noise, I'm like, baby, get your gun. <laughs> I send my eight year old downstairs to investigate. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever shot a gun? I have. Yeah. Um, a, like a, a handgun or a, anything bigger. I've shot machine guns before and handguns. Love machine guns. I love them. It's so fun. Yeah. I get it that guns are bad, but also, have you done it? You know, that's what I always want to say when someone's well, like, it wasn't a human being. It was I was shooting a, like a little bottle. Or oh, mine was a bunch of human beings. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> no, I know. no, no. I shot in a range. I've, well, I've shot outside too. Yeah, for me, here's a here. I, 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 it's tough because they're so fun. They're fun. It's so they're so fun, dude. What do you mean fun? It's tough to to be when people are like against guns. I'm like, I know, but they're so fun. They're fun until you get hit by one. Well, I've never been shot. I know. If you sure. you never been shot. I know. I wonder what I would be like. I watch movies and people get shot. I wonder how I would react. <laughs> what? 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 I, I, this is it, man. I know, but what, who are I you? I can't do this anymore. I know, but who are you? I'm me, and it's you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Andrew? Yeah. It's so dark here. I didn't. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've been meaning to talk you don't to you want, for a while. I, I understand that. <laughs> yeah. But um, can I ask you a question? I can't do this anymore. I, I understand that. But before you pill that, can I ask you a question? Sure. Does this mean the podcast is over? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Bang! And then, so what I would do is... What do you do if I shoot you? No, well, do it again. <laughs> Just do it again. Do it again. <laughs> uh, hey. Yeah. Do it. You want to die? Well, I mean... Bang! Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> Are you coming? Ah. Uh, oh, my God. You're coming. Oh. <laughs> Why did you do that? Because, Bobby. Oh. All those months on the podcast. Do it again. Wait a minute. Do it again. Bang! Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. Are you touching yourself? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Bang! Oh. I'm almost there. Oh, bang, shoot, bang, shoot one on the dick. Bang, shoot one on the dick. Shoot one on the dick. Bang, 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 bang. bang. That's how it works. <laughs> yeah. Shoot me in the dark alley. All right, right. Shoot me. Hey, you little... Pissing Annie, little pissing Annie. Yeah, you little pissing Annie. Bobby, what are you doing? You little pissing Annie nutsquash. All these years together, what, what's wrong? What, what, what Shut you up! No, Bob. I'm your captain. All right. All right. I'm the one with the gun, you pissing Annie little trollop. Oh, you know what Bobby, I mean? look Did at that hurt you when look, I call you a trollop? Look at the gun. Oh, shit. Look at it. Yeah, yeah. There's no bullets in there. Pop! <laughs> <laughs> Dead. Dead. You're, they find you like this with expression... <laughs> With a smile <laughs> on the news. <laughs> a bad friend shot today. Yeah. Kill kill her. What? Kill her. Shoot her for sure. I don't think that's how I'd kill her. How'd you kill how would you kill her? You like boba? Oh, poison boba. Yeah, poison boba, dude. She bites into one. Well, I put little tiny explosives that's in each one. That's what I mean. One. When you crack into it, there's like a little device it'll explode right in your mouth. Ooh, that would be a, such a good way to kill her. And then she shows up at Bad Friends with just no jaw. No jaw. <laughs> <laughs> she sh- no jaw. Just a nose and Just eyes. Just like, yeah. yeah I, you know what I would do? I would train dogs. I would train dogs to attack. And then I'd tell you that I got some dogs for you to foster. And then I would have them attack you to death. Yeah, you'd never see that coming. You'd go, come here, little bit. And they would eat you alive. That's mean. Yeah, oh, you <laughs> talked about killing us at the beginning of this podcast, didn't she? Yeah, let me ask you something. In Game of Thrones. The whole time. Remember what's his name got eaten by dogs in Game of Thrones? Who? I don't. I didn't see it. Ramsey. Ramsey. Yeah. You never saw Game of Thrones. Never. Why? It's so good. I think the creator creeps me out. No, it's so good. Peter. Peter Schelling. Peter Ooh. Schelling. I don't know who you're talking about. The creator of Game of Thrones. What's his name? Yeah. Have you seen that guy? You mean the writer? Mm-hmm. What's his name again? He he created a video. George, George R. 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 Martin. Martin. Yeah, he's so creepy. I know. But he scares me. Look at a photo of this guy. This is why I couldn't watch it. Like a dirty sea sails, like a fucking sea captain. They just... 
What? <laughs> this guy has, sh- he's got. Yeah, he doesn't look. He looks scary and sketchy. No, he looks like he's the guy in the lighthouse. I can't, yeah, he's, well, he's he's like the combination of the guy from Up. He looks like Ed Asner's character. Yeah. I just feel like he does, he does bad stuff. Yeah. I don't know. He looks so scary to me. I couldn't watch it. I didn't want to fund him. I didn't want to buy him more hats. That's really what it was. I didn't want to fund his hat. Oh, well, that's a good. Anyway, what is Ramsey gets eaten by dogs and then what? He just has his own dogs, right? And they eat him? What he does is he uses the dogs to eat other people. Mm. That's what he would use as a punishment. Mm -hmm. And at the end, they wrap him up and they don't feed the dogs for like a week. His own dogs, Oof. and there's a scene where his dogs walk into this like little like um, dungeon, I guess, and he's tied up bleeding, and a dog comes and licks his face, his own dog, and then they just fucking start biting chunks of his face off. Love that. Isn't that the best? That's dope. See, that's what we would do to you, Rude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You keep threatening me, and you see, I've got some stuff planned for you. That's the difference between dogs and cats. If it were cats, they eat people. It'd they be would... harder though. No, but cats eat their owners. If they, if they found him dead, they find cats eating their owners. Oh yeah. That that the cat a I've cat heard of that, yeah. a cat will just eat a dog. Typically, won't eat the owner if it's dead. Or when a dog like loses its master and waits at the graveyard, or yeah. when they do that, all that. See, that's why they're so sweet. Yeah. Jules, what have you been doing? What's been going on in your world? If school's s- out, you're not going to school. I've seen Arcane on Netflix. It's really good. What's Arcane? Pretty good. A movie. That's finished. It's a TV show. Oh, yeah, TV show. Uh-huh. But it's even... based on a game. But there's another one we saw, which was Hellbound. I'm still confused with that. Yeah, me too. You can't get through it. Are you watching Succession? <laughs> I love it. So good. So good. What's been going on in your life, though, for real? What have you been doing? Nothing. I haven't seen you in a while. Nothing? She goes to Hawaii again. Are you excited Big to Island? go back? Yeah. How many times have you been to Hawaii since the last year? Not last year. This last year, how long have you been to Hawaii? How many You've gone times? four or five times? Five times. Did you ever get to do stuff like that before when you're living in the, No? No. Privilege, huh? Look at her now. She gets everything. Everything. Do I you know. fly first class when you go? No. Does Kalila? Bobby. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I'll try to fly first class. I don't give a fuck. You let her fly first class. No. She deserves it. No, she doesn't. Just actually. once. One time I will. Yeah, you should. Yeah. You let me. I did. In Seattle, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Wait, you flew first class in Seattle? I flew first class. You know what we should really do is do like a bad friend's private jet. You know how fun that would be to take a jet one time? What if it falls like Buddy Holly? Then we die as bad friends together. Do you think they'll do a movie? Oh, they will definitely do a movie. <laughs> on us? They yeah. were like, what was going on on that fucking plane? How much does it cost to private pri- Do you know who pri- Buddy Holly is? No. So back in the day, was it, was what what did it call it was Richie Valens, yep, Buddy Holly, yep, the big what's his name that it was his name was the big, there's another guy that was the big, big cheese something like that. No, what was his name? The big cheese or something like that. Yeah, but they all flew this. They were big, huge stars, as big as Harry Styles back then in the fifties. They took a plane and it crashed and they all died. All these legends. Same thing happened to Leonard Skinner. They died. Some of them died. Some of them lived. Yeah. And it happened to Otis Redding. Private jets used to crash all the so Let's not do it time. then. Now it's different. They don't crash anymore. I don't want to do it then. They don't crash anymore. What? That, really? When was the last time a private jet, a, 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 a Gulfstream cr- crashed or like a G4? Let's G4. just do it. Take a helicopter on a foggy day. <laughs> You learned making jokes about that from Ari Shapiro. Uh, yeah, too? yeah, I learned that Jesus from Ari. I th- those type of jokes. <laughs> um, all right, so I want to say something to you. The Thanksgiving when we called you made me reflect a lot about how much I love you, and how much I appreciate you, and I was thankful for you. Okay, I love you. And I also thought about the rest of the people that work on the show, and I thought about Pete, and I thought about Andres, and I thought about George, and I thought about Doc. And that's all the people that work and on the Jules. show. Jules. What? Jules. I said how much I love you. Jules. And Pete and Andres and George. Yeah. And Doc. Yeah. And I got to just say. I get, exactly. You guys mean the world to you me. You mean the world to me as well. You, Doc, George, Pete, Andreas. The, the best. The you, you, especially. You especially. I love you so much. You. Yeah. And almost nobody else. Nobody except else. Except for George, Andres, Pete. Pete. 
Yeah, Doc. And Doc. And Doc, yeah. <laughs> My favorite people. Eric Griffin, sometimes. Love. That guy is the best. Yeah. I love that guy. Anyway. Yeah. I'm grateful to that as well. And um, I want, I'm grateful as well. I'm grateful for the food we get. I'm grateful as well. Right. The sleep we get. I'm grateful as well. And um, everyone around us. Do you pray before you eat on Thanksgiving? Pray. I get into my. I get into God. You spiritual now? I, I've always been spiritual. But more so now? Dude, I get in tune with the Lord. What do you say to the Lord when you talk to Dear him? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for all the gruel. Thank God. you so much for the sustenance. God bless. Thank you so much for um, introducing island people to us. Lo island boys. Island, right, especially little girls from the islands. What are you talking about? She's from Ireland. Cebu. Epstein stuff? What are you talking no, no. about? <laughs> No, take your hand down. Wait, no, I was well. Why was are you doing this? The presence of the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to say I'm grateful for everything. Thank you so much. And thank you for being a bad friend. Thank you for being a bad friend. Thank you for being a bad friend. Thank you.